Hi, my name is Dr. Aye, and I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist. Welcome to the channel. This is Shoniwa, a teacher working in Hong Kong. Many years of frustration with her thick eyeglasses have forced her to search for a doable solution. She found it in Manila. Are you interested to know what made her travel all the way from overseas? Stay tuned to learn more. Shoniwa found her freedom from spectacles in a small but amazing innovation called implantable contact lenses. Have you ever heard of this kind of contact lenses that are placed inside your eyes permanently? Talaga? Contact lens forever inside? Ilagay sa loob ng mata? Yes, these kinds of lenses have been around for over 30 years, and you won't believe how they've improved over time. Despite this, however, in many third world countries, they're unpopular because they're quite expensive. But Shoniwa has struck gold in Manila. She found this gem at an insanely low price, and it was worth it even when she had to fly over from Hong Kong where she works. We were thrilled to work with her on this transformation. She was preparing for a wedding, and she wanted to get rid of the thick, unequally graded glasses that made her eyes look lopsided. These miracle worker lenses are called implantable contact lenses, or ICLs. They're very soft, pliant, and lightweight. No one will know you have one. They're not only changing the way people see the world, but also how the world sees you. No longer the nerdy-looking fellow with eyes shrunken to the size of a pea. In this video, we're diving into the basics of ICL. We are going to answer some of your frequently asked questions. If you're contemplating on getting rid of your glasses, maybe like Shoniwa, you just need to understand your options better before really committing to embark on this journey. Awareness is key. Lamang ang may alam. Question number one. So what exactly are implantable contact lenses? Think of them like regular contact lenses, but instead of putting them in and taking them out every day, they're surgically placed inside your eye. The lens goes behind the iris, the colored part of your eye, and works to correct your vision from the inside. This procedure does not require removal of any part of your eye, and so you retain all of your eye's natural functions. ICLs are a great option for people who are tired of glasses or regular contact lenses. They're a great alternative to LASIK or PRK, both of which entail burning a portion of your cornea. Question 2. Who are eligible for ICL? The applicability of ICL is wide-ranging. I've had had patients who had an eye grade of over 2,000 and were tearfully happy being able to ditch bottle-thick eyeglasses. Older ICLs were designed to correct high grades of nearsightedness, but now the newer ones are able to address farsightedness and astigmatism. Correction of presbyopia or that grade in people above 40 needing bifocals is also now possible with ICL. One patient asks, So, I'm 16. My glasses make me look like a dork. Should I start to consider implantable contact lenses? This leads to question 3. What is the age limit? 16 is still too young. One should be 18 years old and above and have stable vision. This means your prescription doesn't shift too much. Then you could be a good candidate. ICL is really great for active people or people with dry eyes or people with thin corneas who are not eligible for LASIK. In fact, many of our patients come to us because they have been rejected in other laser surgeries. Question four. So how do doctors decide if you're a good fit for implantable contact lenses? It all starts with a detailed history taking and eye exam. These tests include visual acuity, eye pressure, fundus exams, specular count, and a lot more. The doctor will also measure your eye shape, cornea thickness, and the space in the front part of your eye. That's where the lens will sit. They'll also check your prescription to see how much correction you need. Screening may take anywhere from an hour to three hours. A patient may be asked to come back two to three more times for repeat exams. These are all part of due diligence and confirming accurate measurements. ICLs are especially famous for people with high levels of nearsightedness, the ones who are practically blind without glasses, but not everyone can get them, question five. So who gets disqualified from this procedure? If you have certain eye conditions like cataracts, glaucoma, retinal problems, or if your eyes don't have enough space for the lens, you might not be a good candidate. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, you may be prone to shifts in your eye grade and so will not be suitable candidate. We must always weigh the benefits against the risks. Wanting something doesn't guarantee it is the right fit for us. 
A thorough eye exam is a must to see if ICLs are the best option for your eyes. This leads us to question six. What is the advantage of ICL over other refractive procedures? There are many advantages of ICL over other refractive procedures like LASIK or clear lens exchange. For one, there is no corneal damage or tissue burn which predispose to dry eyes, which is a number one complaint in post-LASIK eyes. Dry eyes lead to tearing and burning, which can be debilitating for some. Since the corneal surface is preserved, dry eye risk is avoided. Second, there is no regression. Regression is when your vision starts to slip back toward your old prescription as the cornea slowly grows back when healing. This means your vision may start to get a little blurry again. Since the cornea is not reshaped during ICL, this regression phase is skipped. Hindi bumabalik yun grado. That's really good news. Third, the procedure is reversible. This is not the case for many eye procedures. Clear lens exchange, for example, removes your natural lens permanently and there is no taking it back. What's removed is removed. ICL, on the other hand, makes adjustments possible when your vision changes over time or when complications arise. This is a pretty cool feature of ICLs. But as with any other surgical procedure, complications like infection are still a possibility, but these are rare as we make sure to take all the necessary safety precautions. Now let me show you a short clip about how ICL is done. The actual procedure is about 10 minutes for the experienced surgeon. Dilating and anesthetic drops are instilled to the eye. Patient is made to lie down and prepped. Then a small incision is done on the cornea. The contact lens is inserted through the incision and the implanted contact lens will be fixed behind the iris or the colored part of your eye, completing the surgery. Let's watch an actual video of how ICL is done. Shoniwa opted for ICL because of the many great and long-term benefits. As a bonus, she was able to avail of the discounted rate. So she flew from abroad to grab this opportunity. You can visit our website and social media pages to hear testimonies from our happy patients who overcame their fears and anxiety and did not regret having it done. Now, if you're asking, well, it sounds all wonderful and too good to be true. Are there any negatives and what are some risks? Well, the biggest drawback about ICL is that it takes time from start to finish because of the customization process. It takes about a month for the lens to be molded. The lenses are custom made based on your eye measurements, including size, shape, and eye grade. This is also the reason why this procedure is pricey, because it is 100% customized, and the lens once it is done, will not fit into any other eye except yours. But our team has made it more affordable and easy for everyone, as price is one of the biggest hurdle in the decision process. And that's a wrap on implantable contact lenses, Shoniwa's sacrifice more than paid off as she's spectacle-free with 2010 vision post-surgery, better than 2020. In my next video, I shall feature a no-holds-barred discussion on the pros and cons of both LASIK and ICL so that an informed decision is made before committing to any option. Click the link in the description below or visit the website for any questions, comments, or suggestions. Or feel free to drop comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more eye-opening content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.